I couldn't let it go that I want to tell you that we have another kind of problem coming. This is the modern technology and all this all social media kind of problem. It's called fact checking. And then the theme of following the science, but actually <laughs> scientism, right? It's all, all the hand waving about science, but nothing about science, really. It's all cheating in some sense. So we have this kind of problem already, it's coming, really. It's very serious and we'll use one particular case. In August 2021, after we published a paper, one journalist from the Epoch Times, Alex Newman, published this story, reporting on our paper that was published. And then, what he did, what is his problem? He actually committed the absolute sin. <laughs> but it's good journalism. It's combined both sides. They asked IPCC opinion, they asked Gavin Schmidt for opinion. Uh, uh, Gavin Schmidt just say poop, right? And then they asked us. We supply them a paper, we explain to them our work, what is it about, and then let him write a story. We don't tell him nothing. He wrote the story. He said that maybe the, uh, 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 the sun could be a factor. And then asked the IPCC, why don't you cite this paper? IPCC, you know what he said? And he said, oh, these people were late. There was a deadline. So political process, deadline, right? But they don't realize that when they say that, it shows you how weak IPCC is, isn't it? What? You already just show your report that just published a month ago. It's already outdated because you haven't included this study. This paper took a year or two and a half to write this. If they want to ask me any question, we'll tell them, please read it. Right? They are so outdated, they don't even realize how bad it is, actually, that they look. I don't really care. I don't want to criticize IPCC too much in that sense. Well, they just use this kind of tool. Fact checkers, right? They say that Alex Newman has committed the sin, so his article is incorrect. No one should read it. By the way, it was trending in Facebook, so Facebook is actually paying these people. They are the major funder of this is Facebook, by the way. And then we, we just look at this from the side, we just got really mad. What, what is this? So we wrote a 15 page to these uh, fact checkers and then explained to them that, look, if we just use uh, your exact criteria about what fact is in check checking, you should call this article correct and accurate immediately. We show it in 15 pages. You guys, anybody want to read, please welcome to read that, right? And then we show that how bad this thing is. And then we even wrote an op-ed ourselves, which I hate to write things like this because to me, it's just ephemeral. It's not real serious, you know? Because science is not about 750 words in that sense. Okay, For me, it's eternal. You've got to keep changing your point of view when the data come in. 